All right. <clears throat> Hey, what is the deal, YouTube? It is Craig Harris, the black man in the green chair with the big green drink. Don't worry about what's in the green drink yet. It's not my birthday. My birthday won't be here for another week. But nevertheless, activities have been ramping up. And I do appreciate all the direct messages and tweets and things like that, emails I've been getting on having a good, safe birthday and things like that. Also, with all the news that's kind of happened in the last 72 hours, from uh, the crackdown thing to the Gamescom information to games not being 4K, a lot. I mean, this, this, we got a lot to get to today, folks. So I appreciate the emails and people wanting my input on that. And then you all ultimately listening to the input and making judging the information for what it is and what it's not. So with that said, let me give a big shout out to J-Dub, who J-Dub is, he's, he's, we're not in the same time zone, but this dude be dropping gems. It was like 2, 3 a.m. in the Eastern time, and you get up and it's like, oh my God, J-Dub has sent something. So big shout out to J-Dub, a.k.a. Kratos, the god of PlayStation. Uh, big shout out to Iron Wolf as well. And uh, go check those channels out. Him and Iron Wolf have really good content. Check out the Godcast with uh, Kratos. I think he's moving into a Titans. Uh, I think it's going to be called Titan. Maybe not. Uh, he, can, he can do that one. I, I, it's still early for me. I just woke up like two hours ago. But um, really, literally just got up two hours ago. But And check out Wolf's uh, channel as well. He's doing a lot of streaming, things like that. And the Greatness Podcast with both of them. I've been on there a few times. I'm, awful, I'm also a mod in there. So, uh, yeah, I like getting down with everybody up in there. So hope everybody enjoys the content, the cross content that uh, we all provide. And big shout out to them for coming on, especially with short notice when I – when shit happens, you know. So, and it's Saturday afternoon, folks. It is high noon on the East Coast. I hope everybody's ready for that fake eclipse is about to happen because that's not an eclipse, ladies and gentlemen. That may just be the brother man slapping it, flipping it, and rubbing it down. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Right before my birthday. But uh, what is going on? Actually, now nah, everybody needs to go try to check out this eclipse. It only happens like once every gazillion years. It's also pure, it's also pure facts that the planet is not flat. They can't F with this eclipse, folks. They can't do with it. So, but uh, what has been going on with you? So from the east coast to the left coast or the west coast, all the peeps out there in California, Seattle and around the world. So Japan, to New Guinea, to New Mexico, to New England, to Australia, and to Germany, and to the people in France, wee wee and all that good stuff, and to the people in England. It is Craig Harris, and this is an episode of Craig's Corner, the podcast that brings you the information Ayatollah, the aggregate of truth. The I told you so moments that are going to happen in this podcast are going to be brutal. So if you all have, if you're a new sub, what I like to do on these podcasts is I I have moved away from trying to get away from the from the fanboy and things like that. I own, I own both uh, major consoles. I do not have a Switch. I am on record saying that as soon as they announce a Donkey Kong game, I will knock you down to get a switch. I will I will hit you. I'll whip your mama. I'll smack your children. I will get me a switch once the Donkey Kong uh, gets announced. I will be the first in line. So, but as a multi-console owner, I am able to give you a balance of information on what the Xbox community is expecting and what the Sony community is expecting. And as the new promoted voice not the face, the promoted voice of Xbox. I know exactly what they're expecting and things like that. Uh, big shout out to uh, the Don King of YouTube. That would be my man Zaire over there on his channel. He had another debate, I think, last night. So you all go check that out. Just you know, like that video because uh, I don't do I don't do a ton of debates because you can't debate what's actually 
<laughs> what's actually available content wise and things like that. It is what it is. The people need to go enjoy the ecosystems for what they are and what they're not. And I've said before, if you are an Xbox guy or gal, you should absolutely not expect to get games ecosystem to you like Nintendo does it and or the way Sony does it. It's three different kind of platforms. Yes, they everybody is playing the games on some of the platforms, but overall, again, overall, it's that's not what um, the platforms are primarily used for. Everybody's consuming information differently. So, um, so big shout out to those guys. So let's, well, let's get into it. Let's start here. Okay, I've had to, I had to work uh, the last couple days. I'm, I got to work tomorrow. So let me start with the crackdown news. So uh, it's that was a punch in the face. Okay, for the Xbox community, it's a it's a ni. It's a you know negative impact. I mean, pick your choice of uh, metaphor words. I was disappointed with it, but I wasn't surprised because what I saw at um, Comic-Con, the video that they ran at Comic-Con, that looked like pure trash. I mean, the cars were humping each other. And we can't have a game where the cars hump each other. So, <laughs> so it's, um, but it's, what else can you really say about this thing? Um, I'm disappointed but I am not surprised. Now, let's keep it 100%. Crackdown is not the first game to be pushed back, delayed, things like that. It's just not. All right, that's just the reality of the situation. But it was one of the games that was supposed to set the Xbox X apart around the holiday season, okay? And when that game doesn't come out, you ultimately start looking back and it doesn't come out for whatever reason on time. The game is still coming out. So, you know, when something like this happens and, you know, shout out to Jay Fonzarelli, go check his channel out because he called this, you know, he called it. So uh, there's something not right with this game. So whether the single player isn't ready or whether the multiplayer stuff isn't doing what they want it to do, the sales shading or the however they want to put it, the shading on it, that was an excuse. Again, I was an Xbox One owner and the voice of the Xbox community. There's other games that use that type of technology. Again, one of my favorite games uh, on either system is XCOM 1 and 2. And it uses the shading technology. So for them to run around and be like, oh, well, you know, people are just hating. They don't like the way that game looks. That is BS. It is flat BS. Do not believe that stuff. People didn't like the game because, and the reason why people mocked Crackdown 3 is because the game was shown in 2014. I mean, it was physically shown in 2014. So when they, that means they've probably been devving the game for at least a year. I mean, a year, because I think what we saw in 14 was pre-alpha footage. And for the game to look like it's gone backwards, that's that's bad. Also, as far as the console war BS, I mean, the fanboy stuff, Crackdown was one of the games that the Xbox fanboy always would run to and say, well, we still have Crackdown coming up or coming out. Well, if that and then so when people saw it, they mocked it. So that's that's partly the Xbox fanboys fault, but yeah, I've said this before. The, the, to me, the Sony people, they, they've won this generation. Sony has hands down won this generation. And those cats need to take the ball and go home. Okay, it's okay. You know, you know, it is okay. So um, but with that said, let me keep on, <laughs> but let me keep on talking about this. So when Crackdown 3 gets delayed the other day. I was actually listening and shout out to Randall Thor and because I was actually listening to his podcast, Xbox Two. So shout out to those two guys. Go check that out. They actually broke that live and it was hilarious to, to hear their voices. 
you know, they hear their voices. I mean, there were other you, uh, uh, Xbox guys going through it too. At this point, when this game gets delayed, damage control, and it happened right before uh, the podcast that we did of uh, the uh, 60 Frames No Lag. Porter Rock was on there. All Day was on there. Shout out to both those guys. Had a special guest on there from uh, Nigeria. So if you think gaming in the United States is crazy, go listen to that podcast. And you hear some the cost of some of those games costing 80, 90 bucks to play. That's before microtransactions hit, by the way. That's bananas. I That is hard to understand. So they've... um. <laughs> so it's it so with that said we talked about it and shout out to all day because he to me he really summed it up and all day is a big time xbox that's his prefer he has he owns everything he preferred the xbox ecosystem he's actually spent big money in that ecosystem compared to me compared to me he has and when he's when he's giving people paul saying you know scratching his head that's legit that that's where you ultimately get legitimately you know questions you have to take a step back like what what the hell are they doing now remember i told you guys what microsoft was doing they're moving out of the console space and they're just wanting to go and be cross play do everything um together that's what they want to do that is their final goal and again i'm not going to back down off of that because they want this they want their console to be um able to have content on every single console they, that's why they, that's why their executives not their fanboys a lot of their executives are pushing cross play their executives are the one pushing the anti consumer stuff because the xbox community as i'm telling you as the voice of xbox they want these games on their system and remember and you know shout out to um uh, shout out to uh, Gamers United because he said people bought the Xbox thinking they were going to get these type of games. You add that to the fact that the Xbox, and I'm going to bring up some stuff said on a multiplayer podcast this Thursday night because you've got to go listen to it. Uh, you understand these cats have never been about their games. So shout out and shout out to the people on Xbox Live that, that have been inviting me to play games. But if you see me playing Mass Effect, do not invite me because I am not going to take any invites when I'm playing Mass Effect. That is one game that you need to just leave. Mm, uh -uh, don't don't touch me when I'm on that console. But uh, shout out to uh, to uh, I think it was one eight seven Mario. I think I'm saying if I'm saying his name, if I'm saying your name wrong, I apologize. But we talked for about an hour, hour and a half the other night about what Xbox is doing and other guys I've talked to in party chat, whatever that thing is called, when they contact you which I didn't even know you could do that, but somebody contacted me and we talked through the headset and the, the Xbox community, they know what's going on. They're not stupid, but they got too much pride to come out and say what I am about to say. And I don't know if you guys listen to the multiplayer podcast, but uh, D-Batch, D-Batch, the, yes, the guy who said the Ryzen CPU, during that podcast, he said, and I'm going to paraphrase him, that once the games come out for the Xbox X, that the PlayStation community is going to be so caught up in what the games look like, they're gonna have they're going to just default and leave the PlayStation um, ecosystem and go by the Xbox. And I'm telling you guys, and remember the first question that uh, Porter Rock 77 got on that podcast. What on multiplayer podcast from another Xbox guy, T Reaper, was did you see enough at E3 to for you to make a change again? Because that's because that's what they that's what they were thinking. They're thinking there's going to be a paradigm shift because the games are going to run and look better. Well, let's let me pull some uh facts up. I'm kind of in my I'm on crackdown right now, so. Uh, but I will pull some stuff up that, that proves BS on those statements. Now, I'm not here to say that the Xbox X is not going to have enhanced games, but the Pro has enhanced games. Anything that's enhanced, according to Microsoft, is anything over 1080p. That's a fact. So when you see 1440p or 1800p or 1200p, 1600p, 
all those are enhanced. They are beyond the HD scale. They are now in what is called QHD or, you know, I always, it's hot, it's ultra settings. I mean, you're going to hear things like that. Oh, you're going to hear mid to high settings, uh, 4K textures. And again, if that gets you a hard on, then you need to go game on PC. I'm telling you all the truth. You need to sell all your consoles and you'll have the money and your games on your consoles and then you'll be able to this game on PC. I'm telling you, you can get an i5 chip computer with a 480 um, GPU, Windows 10, and it costs about $1,000 and they told me flat out they would take $850 for it because a thousand is a little too much with this new GPU that just came out. So you could go in there and say, look, I got 850 bucks. So, and, uh, you know, and here you go and they'll sell it and understand you will be able to upgrade it as well. So, but ultimately that's, this is for the people who are into all that other stuff. So that's their, at this point, that's their saving grace is that, um, is that these games are going to be doing that. But let's take a look at, because uh, I'm kind of doing cross commentary, but let me do some, um, well, let me do Gamescom. And I'll do, well, all right, the green Doritos. All right, Microsoft is marketing with, um, Microsoft is marketing. Well, let me finish, well, hold on, hold on. let me go back. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Crackdown 3, let me finish this really fast. So with Crackdown 3, Crackdown 3 is the epitome of what Microsoft has gone through. And when you got guys like, and I'll just name them, whether it be Tim Dog or Crap Gamer or, you know, Dealer Gaming, the Mooch, Zaire, when they are openly saying this is bad, we just need to leave it with, yeah, this is bad. Okay, so all these cats are, are they see the writing on the wall too. The difference is that, I'm trying to tell you guys to look behind the words. You know, if you got executives asking for crossplay from Mike from for other from other companies, then why are we having why even have a console? You see what I'm saying? If you know, because they do want make no mistake about it, Microsoft wants Mario games on their console because they want to be able to advertise. Hey, look, you don't need that console. I said this on the last podcast. You don't need a Nintendo whatever console to play Mario. You can play it on the Xbox. Oh, you want, you know, you don't need Horizon Zero Dawn. You don't, you know, Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, you don't need that on, on the PlayStation. You can come play that game over here as well. They want that because they are extremely dependent on the multiplayer games to go ahead and come out. So, and, and do it. So, but give me a big, a big shout out to Matt's Gaming because I'll tell you all now if you all don't know, Codemasters with F1, their build and the pro build is, is the exact same. I do believe, let me keep it 100%, but I, I do believe the, um, the, Co the Codemasters F1 game on the Xbox X will be native. Now, I might be wrong, and one is checkerboarded. And once you break those games down, you will not be able to see a difference. I'm I'm I've seen them screen to screen. They look the same. They look identical. So you cannot tell a difference. And this is what I was saying all along. So this with this game and Assassin's Creed, again, going to be virtually identical. Again, Assassin's Creed is a game. I, I like talking about that game because I am buying that game day one. And there's all kind of combat on that game from this. You all got to go watch the combat video. I did not link that in the description. But uh, let, let's let pull up. Uh, let me keep on moving on here. Then I'll get to the big time commentary. So the green Doritos. So Microsoft has gone in with Doritos, one of my favorite chips, to go ahead and um, to go ahead um, and do green Doritos. And I am... I've seen orange chips and brown chips and stuff like that, but I've never seen a green chip because that instantly you think, oh, you know, so, but uh, nevertheless, I am doing a 4K taco review and I will also do the 4K green Doritos review because it's a power chip. I mean, it's on the side of the Doritos bag. It says power. So I don't know if you all seen it or not. I'll try to pull it up here, but, um, uh, 
Let me go ahead and start. Um, well, damn, no. Let me start with some good news for Microsoft. So, um, Gamescom. Everything that we know as far as what these games are going to be running on the Xbox will be announced tomorrow evening, Gamescom. Okay? Period. You're going to find out what Star Wars Battlefront 2 is. You can go look at it now. Okay, because any game that is 4K with HDR and, you know, things like that, it's going to be, um, it's, it's, it, it says it. I don't know how to say it. It does say 4K, you know, and we know what that means for Microsoft. That means it can be dynamic, native, or checkerboarded. Star Wars Battlefront, however, does not say that. OK, this is how you read between the lines. The games that are 4K say 4K. They don't say what again, they don't say whether they're native or anything like that. Remember, Microsoft just wants to hit that buffer. Microsoft just wants to hit that buffer. Well, um, Spartan God, as far as Project Cars 2, Project Cars 2 on the um, is going to look significantly better on the Xbox. They, and again, the devs have said that. The devs have said that. So, and again, I, as somebody who likes racing games, there's so many, I've got so many options coming to me. I'm loving that. So, and I'm not going to, like I said, I was going to play Forza, but that Project Cars, like I said, Project Cars does a little, does some things that GT doesn't do, Gran Turismo, and does some things that Forza doesn't do. It, kind, it Like I said, it comes right down in the middle. It's like Mama Bear. It ain't Daddy Bear. It ain't, it ain't Baby Bear. It's right in the middle. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> but um, but uh, so so understand that when you look at the Microsoft documents, you got to kill all the noise that they're saying on stage. You need to look and discern how to read in between what they're doing. And again, any game that says 4K will be in letters, you know, to be in white letters. This is the way they're marketing their system. So since this is the way they're marketing their system, you all have got to go ahead and understand that. So if it's enhanced, if all it says is enhanced on it, that means it's going to be greater than 1080p. That means the sound, let me make this clear, because sound is big too for them. Sound, they may, because they may say, okay, it's going to be 7.1 surround on all the other consoles and on your PC. But on the Xbox, it's going to support Dolby Atmos. So that's an enhancement. All right. That's an enhancement on itself. So they can say enhanced because enhanced to them means enhanced sound, enhanced textures. That's what it means. Now, it's, they're not lying, but they're not being 100 percent open about it either. And it's not their job to be. This is why people get upset with Microsoft. But true, true in the United States is that. They don't have to be 100% open with you. It's up to you, the consumer, to understand that. And now we're talking about Gamescom. I've already talked about Crackdown 3 being disappointing. But, guys, look, other games get delayed, too. So it just it is what it is. It is disappointing because it was a launch game. And now you're hearing guys literally say, well, you know, Pro didn't launch with any games either. And that, that's, that's, that's all they got left. OK, that's all they got left. It's, it's like, like I said, it's like kids arguing because they didn't get ice cream before they went to bed. That's what they sound like. They sound like kids arguing at this point. But as the voice of Xbox, I'm trying to give you some Gamescom news. Also, for all you cats and kitties who are going to get yourself an Xbox, let me make this perfectly clear. Read what Microsoft is saying. They're saying they will give you pre-order information tomorrow. Not, not that, and that, that, okay, so you got to pause. Because that doesn't mean that you're going to be able to pre-order one tomorrow. I'm just simply telling you, what's up, Trey? I see you, buddy. Um, it, it simply means that you're going to get pre-order information tomorrow. And you're going to get it, okay? You're also, and this broke late yesterday, I was at work, um, there is a special edition Scorpio version of this coming out. And this, for, 
for some, and I'm not buying one, but for all you cats that are going to go ahead and buy this thing, that's actually, that's actually a good idea. What's up, Cycle? Uh, this is actually good. I actually like this. As a consumer, if I was going to early adopt, that would be the version I would get. It, it's, it's, it's cool looking textures. I do, I, I do. I've actually physically held the box. It is, I'm going to tell you, it's a little bit wider than the Xbox S. It's a little bit wider. So that alone, that having all that packed into something that small alone is a technical marvel. So it's a technical achievement. So what's up, Dave from Montreal? So that damn shame about that Bioware studio closing down up there. So I'm wish I had some cookout food, JD. <laughs> all right, but let me keep going. So Gamescom, we all know this thing is going to be 500 bucks. They're not going <laughs> to. That's just the reality of the situation. They're also going to announce, and I'll break this to you now. They're also going to announce some trade-in deals for your OG Xbox and your Xbox One S. But remember, they're going to be looking at the terabyte size. If you got 500 gig, they miss. You're not going to get a whole lot for that. But one, I think didn't Bioware Montreal close down? Yeah, Bioware Montreal. I think that's the group that did a uh, mass. Effect Andromeda. I think they were out of Montreal. Like I said, that game is garbage, trash. You know, so, uh, but let me get back to Gamescom. Uh, don't get me going on Mass Effect, please. I mean, I, ugh, you know, but, um, but Gamescom, so this is happening tomorrow. Gamescom, Microsoft is using Gamescom as a, is the, is their, their version of PSX. This has become a mini P. This is their mini version. It's not going to be as big, but it's it's their version of PSX. They're using it as another event. What Sony is doing two weeks from now at Paris Gaming Week, I think it's in two weeks, maybe it's in three weeks. What Sony is doing is to blunt any momentum Microsoft may come out with at this conference. They're going to announce some stuff too. Now I don't know what Sony's going to announce because I am I don't have any inroads on that. But uh, my understanding is they're going to announce some more remastered games. So I don't know what the games are going to be, but some there may be some surprise announcements at Paris because they just didn't book this. Now understand Sony is the official sponsor of something that's going on in Paris at the time. So so. You want to trade in your special? Oh, did he? Did he? Uh, did he autograph it? So yeah, that's the one you say you ran into Aaron Greenberg. He just gave you one. That's that's cool. That's cool. I mean, I look. It can't knock a man's hustle. So you can't knock a man's hustle. So if if um so for all of us that are that are gonna buy the Xbox One X, and I'm not. I've made that clear. I'm not unless somebody in the Xbox community wants to drop some money into my PayPal, which is PayPal me, Craig Harris 88. If somebody does that, then I will I will make up the difference. I'll pay the other half of it. But from what they're putting out, and again, the hard thing about Crackdown 3, let me make this clear for everybody. If you are, are hardcore, like a Cycle Gamer or, or something like that, and that's no knock on Cycle, he's going to buy the Xbox X no matter what. Somebody who was on the fence, somebody who was kind of like, well, I don't know. When you hear games being pushed to 2018, um, that pushes your purchase to 2018. You see what I'm saying? So, and that's all, that's pretty much all I can say about Crackdown 3. I'm not going to, because I wasn't going to buy Crackdown 3, and I have an Xbox One S, and I'm not buying it. Like I said, I'm buying Forza because I want to drive around on those with those cars. I'm going to buy that game that had that giant rat or something like that. So I will buy that. Those two games I'm buying, and then I'm buying Cuphead. So those so those are the games I am going to buy on my Xbox S. And then I'll still catch up with Gears of War 4, Quantum Break. Again, I'm looking forward to playing those games, but the, the, right now I'm playing Mass Effect. So do not bother me when I'm playing Mass Effect. So that's for the Xbox guys. So, But if you're in there, I am, and you can ask Cycle, 
if Cycle looks at my gaming thing right now, it says Mass Effect 2 because that's what, that's what I'm playing right now. <laughs> so, but uh, so yeah, but for all the Xbox people in the uh, chat there, I appreciate you all coming in here. Are, what are you all looking forward to tomorrow at Gamescom? Is it the games that you're going to finally see that are going to be announced? What is going to be 4K? What's going to be enhanced? Because I already know what they are. I've known it for about two months now. I've just been sitting on it. But because I want you guys to understand that you're going to be happy about some of these titles and some of the titles you're going to be like, huh, how come they weren't able to? But we'll get more into that as we go on. But again, Gamescom again tomorrow. Uh, you're going to get pre-order information. You're going to get the ability. They're going to have a special edition Scorpio available for those who want to buy it. You're going to get the announcement of all the games that are enhanced. And I think with the latest Xbox update with that filter, you may possibly be able to go to your filter and it'll tell you what's enhanced, what's not enhanced. But I, 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 might, I may be wrong on that, so don't quote me on that one. That's just me looking out. So you want Phil Spencer's resignation. <laughs> Phil Spencer ain't going nowhere, but here's why. I'll address that real quick. Because he was given an edict to make money with that console, and it's done that. That's done that. So, I mean, it's made a billion. Dude, they wrote a check for a billion dollars. You're not going to fire somebody for doing that. So, now, I personally, I think that the rest of those clowns need to stay off of social media I truly do. I think they need to stay off of social media and just make games, but that's my opinion. And, you know, Phil Spencer said that they will have some more games for it in the next two years. So, I'll, you know, if I'm still alive in two years and the console should be under 350 by that point, I'll go ahead and maybe pick one up then. So, but uh, that that's a problem. But now let's get into the heart of this situation. So let's start with um can we get the let's see if I can find that. I'm gonna make a warp the tent. Well, I may not be able to I don't, I don't think I had that one pulled up yet. All right. So let me see if we can share this one. This is out of Inquisitor or Quizit.com. So shout out to Jada for this one. So let's see here. Ark. Now, Ark was one of those games that the developers said were going to look definitively better on the Xbox X. This is out of uh, E3. This guy said this flat out. One, the lead developer of this. Let me see if I can uh, screen share what I've got pulled up right here. Pressing that button. Application window. Yeah. As you can see, God willing, <laughs> as you can see, let's see here, I don't know if you all can see my screen yet or not. I'm just waiting for it to pop up. <laughs> I can't believe people want Phil Spencer fired. You know, that's that's disappointing. So, but anyway, I, I am screen sharing according to this thing I am. So, but yeah, now it's just going in a big old circle. Well, I may not be able to do it. So, because it's falling off. Do it a different way. One more time. Let me come back to white screen. <laughs> All right, so let me stop. Hold on. All right, maybe it's up now. Damn, that took a long time. Oh, well, well there, there it is on that screen. So let me go back here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. It is, but as you can see, Ark Survival Evolve Xbox One X version getting 1440p. Again, that's enhanced. That's enhanced. 4K resolution options. Okay. 
those options are going to be they'll be able to run this game at mid settings 40p okay that's again let, let's not knock that hustle that's actually a pretty good job but ultimately that's not what these cats these fanboys i'm talking about were telling you and so i do not know why they lie and I'll tell you why. And I can't really call it a lie. What they're wanting to do is, again, they're imprinting what they want the console to do and be versus what it actually is. Remember, I'm the one on YouTube in the gaming community who said you need to go ahead. Well, now tell me to wait. So. You need to go ahead and wait for what the developers said. But this is why, this is why, because then you get, and this is a legitimate article. This is not clickbait. This is a legit article. Uh, Matt's gaming, because he just ran with this about an hour ago. And I know a lot of you guys aggregate off of him. But if they can't get art to do 4K, why would you think this use basic deduction? Why would you think Star Wars Battlefront 2 can get 4K? Okay. I I am just you got to ask yourselves that. So I certainly hope you all can see that because my screen is just a big white thing in a circle. So let me try to pull this up a different way. Let's see here. Okay, so let me try to pull this up differently. So I have to go here, sharing. So I stop sharing here. And let me try to go find it a different way in case you all can't see it. Because I may be doing this wrong. I know sometimes I get it right, sometimes I get it wrong. You all are probably like, damn it. How come he can't do this right? So, here, let me go here. But you all understand what I'm saying. So, you also had this happen earlier this week with Codemasters with F1. I mean, again, I'm, and I'm not knocking what Microsoft did with their console. I am telling you all, you all have got to understand who you're listening to and why they're not, you know, good, <laughs> good for you guys to listen to. And the reason why, and I'm going to stand by, um, see, I'm just going to put ARC 1440p, 30 FPS, Xbox X, just to see if this, if this works. So... Yeah, there's the other arc. Okay, now this is from four hours ago. This is from N4G. And there's also going to be a 1080p version. So, um, but uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can screen share this to see if it works. Oh, there you go. You all can see it. Damn, I did it right. Me, the so counter, you've said it 900 times in this podcast alone. I know, I know, I know. So, but I always like to repeat it because there's new people coming in King Wave. So, and I need they need to kind of know where I stand on things. I'm not here to bash anything, but I wanted you all to see that. So, and it's important that you see that because again, I'm wrong about this. And I sat on the multiplayer podcast. What did I say? I said, why don't you all just wait for the developers to come out? what exactly it was going to be said that but yet i was getting dragged around on that podcast you know and so um be correct this is why you wait and i'm screen sharing this again this is from n4g you know so i'm just um trying to get you guys to understand how to aggregate your information and why you guys have got to understand what's what's entertainment to what's fact. Yes, it's entertaining, I understand that, but they can't tell you the truth 
and not be fanboys, okay? I am a fan, so <laughs> am I jealous of your Lost Legacy screensaver? No, I mean, I'm jealous because how do people get their copies on that game one, two, three, four, five, six days ahead of time? That's what's, ugh. I just want to know I'm envious. I'm not jealous. <laughs> so, but this is a perfect example, and you guys are going to see more games doing this, okay? And it's not, it, it has nothing to do with the six T flops. It has, because what the six T flops is really doing with that bandwidth is it's allowing high and ultra settings. Now, let me keep it 100% here. They are going to be able to run two different versions of that game, so that's good. If you have those options, that's good. But here's another game. I'm, I'm not for sure when ARC comes out. So I don't know when the art comes out. So, but this is another game that you're going to at least have options. You know what I'm saying? You will be able to say, oh, well, you know, um, you know, you can go ahead and not have to use this. It's, um, you know, it is what it is. But, you know, it, it says that, uh, okay, so very quickly, I'm not going to read the full story. It just says that um, previous announced Arc Survival Evolve would run at 1080p and up to 60 frames per second. You know, studio co-founder and lead developer Jeremy Stiglitz, if I'm saying his name wrong, I apologize, revealed a new set of resolution and frame rate specs for the new console Friday, which was yesterday. He also confirmed the much eyes tether used when host when hosting a local game would not make an appearance. So again, the full story is that bottom line is that the game 40p, okay? Which I don't have a problem with. And I, I've said that a hundred thousand times. So, but uh, yeah, so not to keep repeating myself, but once again, and they were wrong. So is there any question who the definitive voice is? It's me. It's me. Um, again, the Code Masters F1 game. I'm not going to get that game because it's an F1 game. <laughs> but and, and I'm not here to. And again, I like the option of buying that game. But all Microsoft has done is they put themselves pretty much on par. Nation can do. Okay, so. You know, Killing Floor, 1800p, the power of the X. Yeah. And understand, Chris, that the Killing Floor, that game was free on the PlayStation. Boy, that game was free on the PlayStation. So just, just the reality of the situation. That's just the reality of the situation. So, you know. Uh, yeah, again, Sony's sound bars are way too expensive. So... It is, it is what it is. Let me turn off the screen sharing. So there we go. But uh, all right, so you all understand what I'm saying here now. You cannot, you should not be willing to sell your soul <laughs> for a console. It just, it's not worth it, ladies and gentlemen. It's just, it's just it ain't worth it. So. But uh, so let me move on. Okay, we now know that the Xbox One, say it with me, kids, it's going to do a little bit more than the Pro, okay? What you have to decide as consumers is if you, it's worth 500 bucks, Or if they're going to give you 150 bucks for your Xbox One S, can you squeeze the trigger at 350 bucks? A handful of, uh, for this multi-plat games. And again, I'm not here to say whether, you know, because I personally would wait for anybody and say um, for the developers to come up to say to me, hey, look, you know, this is what the console, this is what it can do, this is what the game is going to do. Do not worry about what Microsoft says. Microsoft has definitive knowledge, eminent domain over the games that they create. So, and there's another article out if you're going to buy Forza 7. Article out um, today. And a uh, shout out again to Matt's Gaming because he was from Turn 10. You all can go read that article from Turn 10. You don't need to give any scrutiny 
to um, what Microsoft says. Just go directly to turn 10 because that that ultimately is what is going to set it apart from uh, anything else. But guys, like I said, it, there it is. Uh, hopefully that is sharing. But if it's not, they are getting a uh, 1080p 60 bill, which is good. I mean, let's just... 1080p 60, which is good, but it's not the 4K 60 that these fanboys were saying. But they also said that um, they're going to get the Ryzen CPU, and they also said that all these games are going to look and run better. It, it's a lie. I'm lie. So it just let's just move on, okay? Uh, make your decision based on knowledge and not anything else. So. Shout out to the 40 people that are watching. Wow, I do appreciate you all being here. So, but it's amazing. So, this week to the Xbox community, and as the voice of the Xbox community, I did, and you saw a whole lot of damage control. You heard it, okay? You got cats saying, is Phil the right man for the job? You got Kat saying, asking openly, where's the first party IP? Because once again, and that's the problem. Well, the 65% of the games they showed at Gamescom, 65% are multiplayer games. Now, I've heard people saying, well, they're going to show Star Wars Battlefront 2 tomorrow. That's fine because Star Wars Battlefront 2 is all what you've seen so far of that game. That's not been the PC version of that game. That's been the PlayStation version of that game. So, and what they will try to do, I'm telling you, because I, if I was in marketing, this is what I would do. I would try to muddy the waters. That way, when people see new Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront commercials, you'll have people arguing. This is the next argument. They'll say, oh, well, that was on the Xbox One X. I'm telling you right now, chat, anything you see from Star Wars Battlefront on commercial TV is running on the PlayStation. Now, if you see it running on a PC, you will have individuals who are connected Star Wars Theory, those guys know uh, they have PC footage running on their consoles, running on their PC. That Some of the stuff, that because they actually went out to uh, some events that EA held. That's the differences. That is the differences. So, Travis was right. No mention of 4K assets. See, there you go. You got to read what the developers are saying to you. You have to understand what the developers are saying to you. And yeah, and if Widowmaker is available out there, he can come into this podcast right now because my God, I'm tired of being right all the time. I told him you need to understand the way 2160p works. And I'm telling you, as the voice, of the Xbox community, what they wanted a resolution war the same way that you all just had one with the whole 720p and 1080p thing. That's what they wanted. And understand with Star Wars Battlefront 2, that was a 720p game on the Microsoft system. So anything above that, it's enhanced. Widowmaker is the man. Yeah, Widowmaker, is my, like I said, that's my brother from another mother, but he needs to come in here and explain what the hell. Specifically said to him on multiple podcasts, this system isn't going to do what you think it's going to do. Going to do. And I gave away my source uh, earlier this week. She works at Microsoft, been there since 94. Oh, it's it just it is what it is. Did I sit on it? Yes. When you're trying to develop uh, relationships, especially online, and trying to earn people's trust, they nation just to see if you shut your mouth. They will do that on purpose. So, hold on. Mm. Ah. Yeah, I mean, you've had Xbox podcasts, and I specifically said I can't be on an Xbox podcast this week. 
working you, but two, because it was just going to be damage control, and that's all you heard. I thought the only damage control was from that Spider-Man movie that Tony Stark had. Let's let's review what we went over here today. Every delay. Everybody, okay, in the gaming community. Yes, I'm not surprised. I am disappointed. Let me get to the PS4 5.0 because I my PS4 won't update. So if anybody who has a PS4 my system update please send me a direct message or say something in the chat right now i go to that update screen and it just says you have the latest update nothing has changed so <laughs> nothing has changed on it so i mean maybe it has and i just didn't recognize it so and uh yeah if anybody wants to get on the playstation and play mlb the show Message me as well because I've got I got my hands on MLB the show, so I'm ready to go yard on somebody. So, oh, I don't want to contact Sony. I don't want the update that bad. So, I don't really need it. So, as well, I mean, again, mine's not updating, so I don't know if it's to sign up for or something like that. So, I mean, if it's something you had to sign up for, then I I definitely do not have it. So. <laughs> Just keep it a hundred percent. I definitely will not have it if I had to do that. So, but uh, it, uh so it's not oh, okay. That's cool because I thought I did something wrong. <laughs> but no, I don't want it that bad. I don't want the other. So thank you all for telling me that. So, ah, uh, so I remember when the X was announced? Yeah, Dave D. Everybody said rip Sony, but um. I think the um, I think the truth is now coming out. Big shout out to OBJ. OBJ had like a one hour ripping of Microsoft. You all got to go check out my man's video over there. Had me on the floor laugh. I had to pause it like two times. So this this because I I tell you what I like about OBJ. He's over there in the chat. So shout out to him. His facial expressions don't change when he does the, does those videos. <laughs> Like, how you keeping a straight face, man? You cracking these jokes. So, man, oh, man. Y'all go check out this video, man. Good, It's a good video. No homo on that. It's just, it was funny as hell. So, so, hold on, Cycle, you sold your, uh, I tell you what, those switches are going for big money. So, those switches are going for big money. So, yes, I have both consoles. So if anybody wants to hit me up to play later on, because I am, I am on the suicide mission on Mass Effect 2. So I'm on the I'm on the suicide mission for Mass Effect 2. So I can because man, when you're playing on this Xbox, man, let me tell you, it makes this little like boop beep. That's what it sounds like when people are contacting you, and it's annoying. So I'm just for my Xbox peeps out there. If you see my name, Situated Spoon 26, and it says Mass Effect, do not, do not um send, <laughs> do not send me anything while I'm playing that game. You know, period. Just mm, leave me alone. So, you know, because I that takes a lot of energy. Yes, I know what's happening on it, but I still like to get into my characters. So, that Miranda character. That's what I ended up hooking up with. <laughs> so yeah, that she was she was on it. Craig on get on Street Fighter. Ah, uh, the only fighting game I like playing is um is uh, is Mortal Kombat. So. Nah, you can't say fuck Mass Effect because that game was uh that come on now. That 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 those three games rivaled the Gears of War three and the Halo three. And again, that's that's what everybody was waiting on Microsoft to be. That's that's what these cats are still doing. And again, just shout out to the multiplayer podcast. But when D Batch, and this is no rip on D Batch, and this is nothing on him, when he said during that podcast over there Thursday night. That the games are going to look so good that the PlayStation community, I guess, is going to be indoctrinated. And then they're just going to run out and buy one because the games are going to be looking so much better. Yeah, right. You know, these games are looking so much better that Arc is Arc, which is multiplayer, is 1440p. Garbage. 
And again, I don't know. I've never played an art game. I don't even know what it's about. It looks like you got people riding around on dinosaurs. So I, I can't get into that. But if that's what you like, that's cool. But please do not go around saying that these games are going to look and run better before the developer gives you deference. So, you know, so it just it is what it is, folks. So. So, but uh, so yeah, this, so again, the, the 5.0 update, apparently the people that uh, I don't have that. That's my, that's my information on that because people have asked me about that. And um, I don't know what to do to get it, but I did see, shout out to Savage Uger in the chat. He said it's in beta mode and you had to sign up for it. Well, I don't want it that bad. So was asking about the crap gamer was asking about the box of Xbox One X. Well, are you talking about the 4K taco box? So, you know, I mean, look, my point is that there's, you know, as she sounded saying this week, well, look, I'm telling you guys right now, those guys know exactly what they're doing. So, the Doritos, well, the, I don't think the taco comes out until next week, or does it start tomorrow? So, but yeah, I, there were. I was at Kroger's today. Shout out to Kroger. That's free advertising for them. Shout out to them. But um, I was at the grocery store today. There were no green tacos in there. And like I said, I will give you my personal review of the 4K Dorito. So you know, because they got 4K tacos and 4K Doritos. I mean, what else can we get on here? I mean, like I said on my Twitter page, I'm not going to get an Xbox One X, but it's, they're going to make me fat with all this food. If they keep giving food to me, then I may have to get one. No, the 4K taco is not out yet, at least not here in Lexington, Kentucky. So, and again, I'm going to do my review on it. So, yeah, Andrew, shout out to you, man. Yeah, that update's not out yet. Yep, you're right about that. So, get infinite, I'll mop you up and buy a DVD. Infinite what? Infinite Warfare? I can go rent that. I mean, just let me know. If anybody wants to game on, on the systems, let me know. So I've got both systems, but um, I've got MLB. I'm playing Mass Effect now. I'm going to throw down on this MLB the show maybe. Or I may finally start playing Until Dawn. I mean, I just – I beat Until Dawn earlier with the regular PS4, but, yeah. <laughs> ah. So – but yeah, it is what it is, guys. So, I mean, how many of you all are going to get the Xbox One X? I know Cycle is, but well, Cycle, let me ask you if you can hear me. Did uh, the because uh, you're an Xbox guy? Did the um, our Marvel vs. Cat? Oh, okay, I got you. Did the did the delay of um, that game, Crackdown Three? Did that put any pause to you in buying this console? Because a lot of the content won't be out till next year. Sounds like next spring. So, I mean, I'm just, that's fine. So, I'm just asking you, did, did, I'm, this is for any Xbox guy, you know, for the plan on buying this console. Is seeing this game get delayed, did that give anybody pause? You know, that's all I'm asking. Because, again, I'm not getting one. So, yeah, he's getting one made. Okay, that makes sense. So, uh, let me. I think my PSN is. Uh, let me type it in. I think it's Craig Harris. I think it's six five four. Ah, damn it! I did not hit that. Okay, I think it's Craig Harris six five four PSN. I think that's it on PSN. And it's situated spoon twenty six. So people are getting it next year. I've seen two people say next year. Okay. Not an Xbox guy, I'm a gamer, but no effect because I still have games. Oh well, no, I'm just asking. Uh, are you? Did you still plan on buying the console even though this game got pushed back? Did that kind of give you pause as somebody who was really lining up to get it? Lining it up meaning something that you would put on your plate to go ahead and get down on. So, so I'm just I'm trying to get the the people because to me it didn't affect me at all because the game. I mean, it affects me in a way, but there's still enough. I, there's an Xbox back order for me. I can go buy Gears of War, Quantum Break, stuff like that. But as somebody, I think you've already played Gear. So if you've already done these things, the scene this kind of give you pause. Oh, so it didn't. Okay, cool, cool. All right, well, that's one. So that's out of three people that have answered so far, two of you are going to buy it next year. So, you know, and like I said, if I could get one for 250 bucks, I'll buy one. 
But that that, that two fifty from what for what I have seen, and this is why you wait because of announcements like this. So you got F one, you got Assassin's Creed, you got um, the F one Assassin's Creed, you've got uh, Destiny two. <laughs> okay, uh, you're getting the games. Uh, Stream brother, how's that PC going? Well, that PC is very expensive. So, mm. and as a man of small, as a man of big stature and small means, it's just it's going to take time to get that thing built. But as far as the components, I've got the tower, I've got the motherboard. Uh, shout out to uh, J Dub for the uh, GPU. Now I'm saving up for the um, something called the CPU. So I still need to get the CPU and the power source. And I think that may be it. Well, this is going to take time. That's fine. So it, it is what it is. So, But if anybody wants to donate to that bill, you can hit me up on PayPal and uh, or, and or um, Patreon, this, this, which is fine. But if not, that's fine, too. It's not like, it's not like you know, it's, I had planned that was going to take me a while. That is a project. Only because I do not want pe I need people to understand in real time how long it takes, especially as a novice, to build a PC. I have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm not saying that to be funny. I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm looking at all those stuff, and I'm like, "What the hell?" You know. So, you know. All right. So, people, I've got a maybe next year. Um, as far as the PlayStation Pro, are you guys ready for uh, Lost Legacy? Again, Lost Legacy runs 1440p 30 as well. So, and again, I, that's that's again that's enhanced. So, if you have a 4K TV, somebody just added me as a game on as a friend on Xbox. So, shout out to the guy that just added me on Xbox because I think I think their community really thought was really think I don't have an Xbox. Let me keep it a stack though. I'm only going to keep Xbox Live on for another week and a half. Because I'm going to get my Netflix turned back on, and it's college football season. I live in a college football town, and I know what you're saying. Well, Craig, as the voice of Xbox, you need to keep it on. But I do want to watch the Defenders as well. So, you know, you don't have time for any Xbox. Oh my God. So, but guys, look. I mean, look. It is what it is on this. So, I'm excited about it. I hate to be the type of man that says I told you so. But I told you so. But again, that's why I was telling people to go ahead and wait on everything. Just wait. It's okay. You know, you know, it just it is what it is, and people need to just wait. So, but let's look at the uh, let's see here. F1 Xbox X. Let me share this. Now, wait a minute. See all these Xbox articles that are pro Xbox? <laughs> they really crack me up. So, okay, now according to, well, that's June 25th. So, I'm trying to find another article here to source for you guys. Now, F1 2017, according to this Xbox, which again is a fanboy website, as you can see here, says 2017 will perform better on the Xbox X, which we all know is not true. Okay. <laughs> well, I think I think so. This Xbox, yeah, there you go. Yeah, Savage dropped it in there, so he dropped that in there. So, yeah, that's that's what I'm talking about, though. That's the stuff we got to stay away from. But again, I'm not a fan of F1 racing. It is extremely difficult. So, with that said, however, let's just give a big a big shout out to them. So, see here, Xbox One X version has already been publicly shown at E3. That's what one version is running to 80p 60, which it wasn't year. Then there's HDR support for Xbox One S and Xbox S. We have Checkerboard 4K. So, all right, you're right. I was wrong. I got to stand corrected. Um, this game is running Checkerboard 4K on the X. It is what it is, folks. Checkerboard 4K. Damn, Shaniqua. Damn, Shaniqua. <laughs> 
Let me see if I can screen share that. So. Damn, Shaniqua. <laughs> and man, I hate being right all the time. But clearly, you can see it right there. You know, so it is right there. This is, oh my God, this is, this is, this is bananas, man. <laughs> So, but all right, for, for anybody in the PlayStation community who thinks RPM, all RPM is going to do is it's going to allow them to do better uh, coded calculations. So, but, uh, oh, damn, let me, I just lost that article. Where'd it go? Um, boom. I have a tendency to pull things down off, so I do apologize. So stop sharing this. So this is too funny to me. So, but hopefully this is a lesson for those guys. You know, I and I did send that article about ARC article to a uh, next gen. So, you know, just it is what it is, you know. So uh, the porch light podcast. I will be doing a porch light podcast. It will be about the. Um, I got to get my information together. That will be about the UFO landing, and I believe it was at White Sands. But I have to go ahead. RPM is real secret sauce. Yeah, apparently it. it RPM was part of the Vega architecture that uh, Mark Cerny talked about last year. So, and again, I you know me. I'm gonna see it before I believe it, guys. So the good news is that they've announced software that is actually running it. So I just have to take a look and see how it goes. So see how it goes. So, I mean, again, I don't get it, but that it is what it is. But again, Gamescom, I'm excited about Gamescom. I'll be at work. So I'm going to be, somebody's got to keep me abreast of what's going on. So, you know, I'm, you know, somebody's got to tell me what is going on. So, um, so additional power boost to 5.25 teraflops. Okay. I mean, again, I, well, I mean the pro, it, it probably has a little bit more in there. So has a little bit more. So a thick Asian woman. Well, all righty. <laughs> so yeah, if you're over there doing hate speech over there in the chat, that's that you, you get one time out, do it again. You'll be gone for good. <laughs> so you know because i mean youtube is really cracking down on that stuff especially with everything that just happened this past week so they're really part they're really doing that so if somebody's trolling let them troll but because i don't care but with that said if they are going to go ahead and be um same you know bs and you know what to look for go ahead and get the time out it comes back booty says anything else so a 4K lap dance. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I didn't see what he said. So, because I was trying to figure out if I was screen sharing or not. So, but um, yeah, just so people know that um, about. But so, look, but that's pretty much all I got, guys. If anybody has any questions, I would love to see them, and I will answer what I can. Okay? So, just remember the Xbox community does not, they, they've never been about the games. They've always been about uh, bragging rights. So, if you can look at it from that perspective, and you listen to what they say, um, then everything should start making sense to you guys. So, DuckTales, yeah. Well, I mean, again, that's that. The thing is that people are damage controlling that game coming out. They were like, oh, it's going to be good for kids and all that kind of stuff. It's like, well, I mean, okay, I don't know. I mean, to me, it looked like garbage. But with that said, people got onto Microsoft, and Microsoft's going to show a lot of stuff tomorrow, guys. Again, they're using. Gamescom is a de facto PSX. This is their version of it. So it's funny that people are damage controlling that game because that game was crapped on by those guys. So 
that's right, Spartan. Uh, yeah, Xbox needs to bring the same type of um, relentless charge on IP that they did on the 360. But remember, that's not what they're about anymore. They're about the services and Gamers Pass and um, what else ever they offer, games with gold, Xbox Live, all that stuff, that's what it's there for. So most people who are bragging about it are not going to get it. I would like to get one. I'll, I'll be perfectly honest with you guys. My problem is what I saw. I can't say my problem. That's negative. My issue is what I have seen. It's not worth $500. And I know it has a UHD Blu-ray player. Oh, and Guardians of the Galaxy will be released in UHD. So that will be my second UHD movie that I buy. So, but my my point to you guys is that if you're an Xbox guy, or if you're not, and you're wondering, well, why are they saying the stuff they're saying? Um, it's because they want bragging rights. They want to be able to say, we have something you don't have. And that's a, and I'm not the first guy on YouTube to say that. Shout out to uh, Hard Eight uh, Times, a 4K ambassador, for saying that because he's 100. percent I agree with him 100. percent It's never been about the games. It was about the games. They would be talking about the games. And I think it's I think as a gamer, the hobby getting a new new device in. Well, I was excited about the Switch. I wasn't going to buy that because again, there's not enough on there for me. But the Xbox X is just too expensive for what I've seen. And in a game, it's a multi-plat game that we all got told by the Xbox fanboys that was uh, that console is going to look and run things so much better. It's not going to do that. It is going to do a little bit more. Okay? Now, I've had J-Dub on here several times talking about 4K textures and how that's going to – and that will enhance some things of your game. It will. But you have to ask yourself as a consumer, is that $500 worth it? Is that going to be worth it? If, if a game on one console is medium to high settings and another console has it at high settings, is that worth $500? Now, to some people, yes. Okay, but overall, it's going to be no. So, yes, X, I agree, Airhawk. Yeah. Mm hmm well, Sony's TVs this year, this year Sony's TVs have been kicking it. But, uh, yeah, LG just has some issues with TVs. And, and I'm telling you right now, if you get an LG around the holidays, make that your secondary, make that your second TV, meaning that that will be the TV you watch movies and stuff on. I mean, and my girl, we watch it on everything, but our second 4K TV is a cheaper TV. It's a higher something like that, and it does not have HDR on it. So, you know, it is what it is. So, but right now, the PlayStation, like the PlayStation, my TV only has one pass-through for HDR. So on the PlayStation, is on that one right now. But I've unplugged it because <laughs> I've been on my Xbox. You know, I've got on my, I got on my PlayStation a little bit this morning because I got some friend requests. So, but I'm going to get back on it with MLB the show. That's why I'm saying if you all want to play MLB, I will, I'll throw down with it maybe a little bit later on. So, but yeah, I'm going to try to do a porch light podcast. It's rare. And I'll announce that. So, Jet Force, Perfect Dark, Megasoft. You might get a Perfect Dark announcement. They are going to announce some other games, Mario, just so you know. So, oh, that rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> so how's gigantic um i've heard good things about it shout out to randall thor i think he did a review on gigantic so go check that out i mean it's not my type of game so uh, but i'm not going to diss it because i never played it so it's just like people have asked me in another oh man uh, the 60 frames no lag the other night somebody said well i haven't played gears of war uh four so how do i know why not Gears of War? I'm sorry, Rise. Because I was upset we got. I mean, because there's a reason why we we haven't gotten Rise Two and things like that. And the guy literally in the chat was saying, "Well, if you never played the first Rise, how do? You, why are you upset about no second Rise?" And I'm trying to explain to him that it's bad for all of us. The less we have, the worse it is. So, you know, so it's just that's just the way. That's the way I see it. So. 
Cuphead. Cycle may not get Cuphead, but yeah, I'm getting it. Because they're dependent on us to buy that game. They mortgage their future on that game. So and uh, so I'm going to help them out. If they go under, won't we? Because I didn't support their software. So, you know, and Cuphead, it, it probably it's either going to be real fun or I'm just going to be like, oh, my God, you know. So you're my OK on PSN. OK. So, yeah, everybody got to try to support Cuphead. Also, uh, other Xbox news. I did forget about this. Recore is getting a 4K or definitive edition, and it's going to have the DLC already involved on it or in, in it, and it's only going to be $29.99. So I recommend this game. It's $29.99, folks. So this that's back in the Sega Genesis era when the games were costing $39 and $49. So, so shout out to your game over HD for friending me on that PlayStation. So... But yeah, they've um. So it's not that Microsoft isn't trying. I do. Th I do think this is a good reset for them. We just have to wait and see if the masses adopt it. And right now, Microsoft does not think it's going to. We don't have a sequel to the order. Yeah, I know. The order did not sell what Sony thought it would. But we, that doesn't. Maybe we. We man. Maybe we get a remaster of it though. Maybe they cut the difference. So. We'll get a Cuphead too. Um, well, Cuphead is a lot of boss fights, so we may get DLC. So I'm doing myself a disservice. I'm gonna play it. I mean, <laughs> I'll get it during the holiday because you know during the holidays you get two for whatever you buy two get one free, and so that's when I'm gonna be getting all that stuff. We got now OBJ. You know why we got that? Because Mark Cerny did that game. So, Rise got repetitive. Yeah, it looked like it would. So, what's somebody asking about the future? So, they bet. Do the, you think they bet their future? No, that. Well, again, remember, Microsoft did not bet their future. Xbox did. Xbox did. So they're they're different. <laughs> Microsoft is not Xbox. Xbox is not Microsoft. You know. So. And a lot of people get those confused. So mm. remember, Xbox is just a division of Microsoft. They're they're responsible for 16% of their profit. And that's going down. Okay. Looks like super con it does. Yeah. I mean, if you like those type of games, but uh Chris Jones, you gotta remember those developers, they mortgage their houses to complete the game. So they're counting on us, the gaming community, to buy, to buy that comp, to buy that game. And I'm buying, I'm buying the game. I mean, I, I'm gonna buy it. I may not even play it, but I'll play it. So I've heard nothing but good things about Rise. So I plan on getting. Who knows? They may again. Microsoft's got gonna do some things tomorrow. But again, if I was interested in the uh, Xbox X, and I am, you know, as far as it being new tech, I am. With that said, it's not $500 to me. That's just too much. I mean, for what I've seen, they don't have enough first-party IP to push new hardware. But we're going to find out, you know, because I, you know, because everybody thinks that they do, and I personally don't think they do at all. But we'll have to wait and see. And, you know, I think six months from now, the X will be cheaper, and that's when I'll look to get into that market. Hopefully my PC's done by the end. So... You need sequels to improve on it. Yep, I agree with you, OBJ. And also, getting a sequel shows that the developer and the um, the uh, the people making the game, whether it be Sony or Microsoft, Nintendo, they're willing to take a chance on that. Bill Gates cares about the Xbox. Yes, Bill Gates is why there is an Xbox King Wave. Got to know your history. I already did a history lesson on that. So... I already did a history lesson, so yeah, Xbox was his baby, not you know, the Xbox was his baby, the Xbox division was his baby, and because he did not want Apple to get games that they could they didn't have access to. So if they give you 250 for your gears Xbox One S, yeah, I don't think you're gonna get that much for it. So now, with that said, let me keep it 100% here. I, there's a Microsoft store here in this city where I live in, so I may be able to get a little bit more, okay? 
So <laughs> I'm going to get a little bit more. That is the truth, King Wade. So that's that's what happened. OK, my Steve Jobs, the late Steve Jobs was going to put the Halo game on the Apple computer on his Mac it was not his baby. Yes, it was. You can look that up yourself. Look real quick. OK, so now I have this insulting. <laughs> Probably because where it is now versus what it used to be. Yeah, he probably did say that. But as far as him, he did, he founded the X part, Xbox part of that company. And again, because Steve Jobs was going to put the bungee game Halo, not the Halo that you're used to seeing run around and shooting, but the Halo Wars. Halo Wars is the original Halo source code. They were going to put that game on the Apple computer. And, and Bill Gates said no. So he went and he bought Bungie. And then the hack that everybody likes with Master Chief, that was a hack, meaning that some developers had hacked the game so that they could just kind of run around and play first party and shoot. That's the version Bill Gates said he wanted on the Xbox, and that's what we got. So, hmm. Ruined the console market. Well... I mean, they've had some. They, they've had a tough time. I mean, after the 360, which I think is one of the best, if not the best, gaming console ever, it was going to be hard to top that. That's why people wanted the Xbox One to just do what the 360 did. Now, pretty much, that's what you got, plus more features. But uh, you don't have the first-party IP lining up like it was. So, and you got to take that for what it is. If that's your, if you're ecoed into that system. You need to know that, like this month alone, micro uh, Sony's getting what, like four exclusive games, and Microsoft's getting zero, nothing, nada. You know, so that's that's part of it, though. You you need to know that as an Xbox guy or gal. Xbox is a tax write off. It probably is now. So many lies. Well, understand the micro. You do know that Microsoft was founded on a lie. <laughs> so of course they're gonna keep there. I don't think they're lying. I think they tell consumers just enough to hook them, and it's up to the consumer to know what they're getting into. So Sony needs PS4, yeah, because Sony's movies this year have not done well, except for Baby Driver. Baby Driver was a Sony movie, and then Spider Man. Those movies made money. So, but uh, the Emoji Movie, that movie was trash. Oh, my God, it was so bad. So, you know, so we have to look and see. <laughs> Angry Birds. Yeah, that was a Sony movie. That was trash. So, yeah, you probably will whoop me in MLB The Show. So, all right, Cycle. Yeah, I'm about to do the same myself. I just wanted to jump on here because I had a bunch of people tweeting me about what I thought about Gamescom and Crackdown 3, all that stuff. So, um, yeah, that Emoji movie was trash. You're right about that, EJ. So, But I just wanted to give you all that and understand that there is going to be a lot of stuff for everybody at Gamescom tomorrow. Yeah, I'm buying Madden 18 on Friday. Yeah, that's 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 it's done. Yeah, I'll, I'll be there at midnight picking that up. So, um, yeah, I'm buying that. I'm off Friday, and uh, I'll, I'm buying that. Boom, boom, boom. I'll be there. So, <laughs> oh, that lion makes Xbox go hungry. Hungry, that's funny. But remember, Gamescom, guys, that's going to be some cool announcements. Microsoft will rule the day on that. Uh, and again, they had a bad week, so hopefully this washes some of that taste out of their mouth from the crackdown three. Uh, PS5, the, the 5.0 thing, I ain't got it, you know. <laughs> I don't have it, so I never did sign up for that. Uh, the Green Doritos, I will do a review on that. And the commentary, again, it's just been a little bit of, now that we know that this console, the Xbox X, wasn't what... They thought, what I think of Hellblade, I haven't been able to play it yet, Savage. I've got it ready to go. I've just been busy doing other stuff. I mean, I'm playing Mass Effect, and once I get into that, it's hard for me to get out. So, But I play one game at a time. So, uh, But again, if anybody wants to play Forza 3, I'm Situated Spoon. And then if anybody wants to play MLB The Show, 
And I got to work tomorrow, so I'm not going to be up all night playing games. So, and uh, my porch light podcast, I may move, take that back. I'm gonna move that to Sunday night because I have to work Sunday. And I actually uh, shout out to uh, the Gaming Couch podcast. I will not be able to make it tomorrow because I do have to work. But I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna definitely give uh, Foxy Gaming a tweet here in a minute. But uh, you know. But that is it, guys. That is it for this podcast. I certainly hope everybody enjoys Gamescom tomorrow. Uh, let's just kick back and see exactly what Microsoft is going to do. Remember how to read the Microsoft banners. Remember if it says 4K, that means it's going to hit that 4K buffer. They, it may not be native. It may be dynamic or checkerboarded, but it will hit the 4K buffer if it doesn't say that. That means they're not, it's not 4K. That means it's 1440p more than likely, which again is fine. Let's just keep it 100%. They've done a good job on this console. I just don't like the price. Again, I do not like the price. So, But that's me personally. That's just me being a consumer. But that is it, guys. I'm going to bounce on out of here. We think we got up to like 35 to 40 people watching. And man, that's I appreciate that big time. Thank you guys for subbing. Thank you guys for spending your Saturday morning, your evening, or here afternoon with me. So uh, that, but that is pretty much it. And just remember, keep playing the games, guys. And hit me up if you all want to play online while I still have it. This has been Craig Harris, the black man in a green chair, the big green drink. <laughs> and remember, if you go out tonight, wear white. Take it easy, guys. Peace.